victory or death! <laughs> Bring it on! With all the spells in your deck, would Auctioneer and Beardo be a good fit to refresh our hero power or am I nuts? Eh, not the worst card one can think of. Mostly because it's a 3 mana 3 4, but mostly you're nuts. What about Jade Druids of this deck? Well, prepare to lose, as Master Joster says. I don't think Dirty Red is right even in this situation, because if you pull the 4-3 charge, uh, you're actually behind. If you pull the Frothing Berserker, you just lose. How greedy do we want to be? Not that greedy. He's got 8, 11, 12, 15 damage, so I'm at 3. That was a very powerful board at this stage. This isn't even that good because he can just use the uh, Raider and the weapon. Or Heroic Strike, it's even worse. But Heroic Strike doesn't mean that I get put into Revenge Range. Which is actually good. Always a silver lining. Also, he didn't play a minion, so he might be out. I think we win. Revenge is one of those cards that uh, looks terrible at first, but it's really grown. Soon we can play a 2 mana 2 6 with no drawback. Now, actually. Womp womp. See, we're playing against the uh, very powerful Leroy Jenkins, brother of Leroy Jenkins. The good ol' 7-7. Seven, seven. No, that's not worth branding. Could just play brand this turn. If it's a uh, aggro dominant, it's correct to play brand right now. If it's mid range, it's actually right to rate. Wait. Eh, let's just go. Flex the spell. I want to cast the spell. 
That's a good one to get. I play it super greedy in that uh, volcanic potion this turn. Even though I have two of them. Even though he's a shaman. Oh, he hasn't been very aggressive. Blizzard doesn't hit my own guys. I guess that's why I play Volcanic Potion there. Fen creepers in the deck. Oh, super cheat. No. Blood Mage Blizzard. I guess we do that too. Yeah, Rap Blizzard could have been pretty good there. Yeah. Strike. Hmm, let's do a different play. <laughs> it's still good. There is a lot at stake. Thank you for this thing, right? Yeah. Okay, on this turn I am CT, and then I'm not going to clear. I think that's the answer. Unfortunately, Brand doesn't work, unless they have five guys. Oh, wow. Well, that's gross. Womp womp, tentacle of Nizloth. Womp womp, womp womp. Eh, I could have just fire blasted any of this then. Not push me. Eh, let's play that card. Mega rich. Why not shuffle Reno? 
Because as it turns out, shuffling Reno is really bad. Why would I want a 6 mana 4 6 in my deck? That's terrible. Well, I'm for him to concede. How good are demons? It only cost my soul. Yeah, his Maybe we can get the cruel dream. Cruel will summon the four demons that I get. Wait, no, I can't get. Oh yeah, yeah, you can add cruel to your. <laughs> oh, this is so much. But, but I have to. Oh. Maybe I can see it before I get to Kazakis. Oh, what the? <laughs> Serve or die. Backpot. Oh, swords. How much? Oh my gosh, that actually works with Bram. Oh my. Oh, this is actually disgusting. This actually works! We're, we're going to do it, because we can. Don't concede, don't concede. Do, 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 do. I know I missed some attacks. <laughs> okay, whatever. I just wanted to play Kazakis again. Yeah, his home. I speak with demons. Should have played Arcane Blast last turn. Eh, whatever. Serve or die. Okay, I guess we'll end it. So these cards are uh, potentially good. Volcanic if he starts with 1-2. Twilight Flame Color if he starts with 2-1. Could it be a Control Warrior? If it is, I believe I can... Uh, I believe... We'll, we'll make a judgment call on whether or not I go for Ultimate Value. Which is... Bran... Azakis, Manic Slow Caster, Quadruple Ten Potion. 
It might happen. Side effects. No. That ooze is going to be saved for Gorhal. So that's ultimate greed. Uh, medium greed is Kazakis into Manic Soulcaster into Bran Kazakis. Medium greed is also acceptable. Light greed would just be Bran Kazakis. But Bran Kazakis is probably not going to be good enough. I'm going to try not to play Doomsayer uh, this game so that I don't get Doomsayer back when I resurrect. Okay, that's a pretty good card. This might... I'll try to get that on 8. For Tyrion Fordering. A lot of people in chat saying this uh, matchup is really hard. I think that this matchup is actually really easy. Now uh, let's check what Vicious Syndicate says. Reno Mage versus Control Warrior. And then you have to also consider that this is a very strange Reno Mage. Well, it's a very anti-aggro Reno Mage, and you also have to consider that it's a... There's different types of Control Warrior out there. Vicious Syndicate says 65%. In favor of me. It's true, I don't run Antonidas or Medivh. It makes it harder. Alright, 8 drop, go. That one is acceptable. Ah, he plays Ragnaros. Wow, he's lucky. Alright. You'll need that luck. Ah, the good old coin nothing. We are going to just mosey along this game. It looks like this is going to be a Bran Kazakis Soulcaster game. It's possible that I'm supposed to not draw any cards in this matchup. Um, I wonder how he put Ragnaros in his deck. Like, I'm, I'm so far defaulting to the assumption that it's the deck I was playing. The LPS's Rat Control. Okay, I got my 4 damage. That's pretty good. We for vengeance. Guess I throw the torch at it too. So I'm gonna try to save Flame Strike for post monkey, as well as Blizzard, as well as Volcanic Potion. AoE tends to be good against the monkey cards. I'll have to make a decision on whether or not to Acolyte for cards. Uh, I'm actually running a little low on cards, so I think I will do so. Do you have the artifact?
Even if I drew three cards with Acolyte, that should be okay. And yeah, we're starting to collect the full combo wombo. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm, we can Roaring Torch that one. That card isn't threatening enough to Roaring Torch though. That card I can Roaring Torch. So that's two cards that he plays that aren't uh, in this deck. In, in my version of this deck. I think I might not play Ice Block this game. No, I am. I forget that I... I don't have... <laughs> Let me put this another way. If I had a Golden Monkey in my deck, then I wouldn't play Ice Block because I'd want to shuffle it for a different card. Unfortunately, I don't have Elise Star Seeker. I don't want to play Doomsayer only because it might come back up with my uh, Resurrect guys. And Resurrect is really, really good. Small plays not to do. Not to play Doomsayer here. Oh, here we go. Gotta cast it before I get dirty ratted. Two tens. This is how you win this matchup. Do I want to deal 6 to all or do I want to transform all to sheep? Um, all the sheep because I c could get something that's big enough that 6 damage to all doesn't kill. That's plus 0 plus 18. That's an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's better. Uh, plus zero, plus eighteen, I guess. Mm -hmm. It only cost my soul. It only cost my soul. So I'd like to play it post uh, brawl. If I play this, I'm always going to get brawled. So the question is, do I play a card just to take the brawl? I think you save it post stature. You want it? I got it. Oops, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that belongs in a museum. I'm trying to time the statue. Welcome to the grand That's pretty good. 6 3. Welcome to the grand tournament champion. Alright, I'm gonna get a uh, brawl soon, I imagine. I could just trade the 6 3 for the 6 3. More Twilight Flame Color. I'm running a. Uh, I have too many cards Can I light your in hand. I predict I'm gonna get Dirty Rat brawled. Although he is running uh, enough different cards for me that he might not even run Dirty Rat in his deck. He could have replaced them with Baron Geddon and Ragnaros. I'm not sure if it's correct to play the Acolyte of Pain there because it could win the brawl and that's actually not a good result. This is why Control Warrior can't win this matchup. <laughs> 